Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I turned a 10 year old Trek mountain bike into a DIY e-bike. So starting off with the overall specifications of you know the DIY kit and everything like that. So I went with the Voilamart a uh, thousand watt rear wheel uh, e-bike kit off of eBay cost around $200. So with the kit, of course you get everything you need to put this bike together outside of the battery. And in talking about, you know, the overall list of what comes with the kit, of course you get your controller, you get your rear wheel with the integrated electric motor hub, uh, a tire, you get an LCD screen to show you your speed, your battery life, things like that. You of course get your uh, throttle grip and the other grip to match. Um, and you get two brake levers as well. And then outside of those main items, you also get a pedal assist sensor that will go on to your sprocket and actually, you know, tell the controller, you know, when you're pedaling to apply some of the electric motor so that, you know, you can get assisted while pedaling. You're not, you're pedaling lightly, but the bike is moving pretty quick, which is an awesome feature as well. But let's go into exactly what it took to get this DIY kit actually on this Trek mountain bike. So first taking a look at the rear wheel. So it's in a thousand watt rear motor, like I said at the beginning. And the tire that came with the kit originally, um, it wasn't the greatest uh, feeling tire. It wasn't, you know, the greatest quality, just some sort of knockoff, I guess, tire, nothing brand named or anything like that. So what I decided to do was just take the original Trek uh, inner tube and tire and put it on to the new rim. Of course, it'll fit pretty much perfectly being that they're both 26 inch rims. So there was no issue in terms of like compatibility with, you know, the existing tire and inner tube and this new rim, which was great. So it gives us, you know, Trek quality tire uh, on, you know, this DIY kit hub and rim assembly. Uh, and the motor is pretty powerful, I will say. I can get this thing up to like 30 miles an hour and we will definitely do a test ride so I can show you guys the performance of it as well. So. That is, you know, the main, of course, uh, attraction of this kit is having the 1,000 watts and being able to sort of push the bike to a, a really high performance level. And then moving up the bike a little bit down here on our pedal, uh, we, of course, have our pedal assist sensor. So the red guy is the actual sensor itself. And then this ring right here is just some magnets that will, you know, pass by the sensor and tell it exactly how fast you are pedaling which will tell the motor exactly how fast to spin. And all of this stuff is of course hooked up to the controller, which is in this bag. I'm not gonna take it out, but it has, you know, pretty simple stuff, just all uh, easy, easy connections to make, just plug and play for the most part. And I will say this, the directions that came with the kit were pretty terrible. Uh, nothing really that fantastic, but it was easy enough to sort of figure it out on my own and put it together. I will say I am an engineer and I have some capability of putting things, you know, together without instructions. So if you are more inclined to, you know, use the instructions step by step to put something together like this, then it might not be the best kit for you, but overall a really easy experience putting everything in and getting it all hooked up. We will come back to the battery, but going into the rest of the kit. So of course we get our handles. Uh, this is, our grip for the throttle and this is all electrically connected uh, just with a, a long cord to the controller we get our lcd screen which shows us battery speed uh, the pedal assist level so you get five levels of pedal assist the higher the the level the more uh, assistance from the motor and then here we have our power on uh, up and down with the pedal assist level uh, right here you get your plus and minus buttons there as well and then we do get our new brake levers as well. They might not be the highest quality, but they will definitely work for what you need. Um, and easy to hook up. On this particular bike, however, the brakes did um, have a little bit of an issue getting installed, and I will explain exactly why. So the original brake assembly was actually integrated into the gear selector assembly, I guess. Uh, so I actually had to pretty much permanently remove uh, the original brake assemblies. As you can see there, I sort of like removed a lot of aluminum and was able to just sort of pry the existing uh, brake lever out. And then this one kind of slotted in pretty nicely into the uh, existing gear selector housing. 
and then it, it's not a bad look. You can't really spot it unless you really look hard to see that, you know, it doesn't really belong. And as you can see towards the front of the bike, there is definitely a bunch of cables now coming from both the LCD screen, your pedal assist sensor, the brakes as well are connected to the controller so that when you apply brake, it actually tells the motor to shut off so that when you're braking, the motor's not sort of fighting you and continuing to, to move. Whether you have the throttle uh, pulled down or not, it's still going to stop the motor as soon as you brake. So plenty of cables, but easy to route uh, down the top tube and then straight into the controller bag. The bag itself also comes with a kit. So they literally give you everything you would need to do this. Uh, the only thing that they of course don't provide is the tools for the bike itself so I did have to get a crank puller for the actual pedals to remove this crank arm and be able to install uh, that the, the pedal assist sensor. So I will link that tool in the description below and getting into the battery. So we have a Halong down tube battery. So fully encased, you're definitely gonna be able to find cheaper batteries if you do not find like the encased ones that are meant for e-bikes. You can just find like a 48 volt a thousand watt capable battery. You'll, you'll mainly see them in the, the like blue wrapping with the wires coming off. That it, it will definitely be a cheaper option. But for this one, we got a 48 volt, 12 and a half amp hour battery. So this will last you like 25 to probably like 50 miles, depending on how much you're using the motor. If you're just using pedal assist or you're using the motor by itself, it will definitely change You know the, the projected range of the battery. So for these two components, the controller uses copper wires and the battery actually uses aluminum and you never want to mix aluminum and copper wires together. Hopefully if you're looking to do like a DIY kit, you can find a controller and a battery that have the same connectors that you can just plug and play and it's already set up for the aluminum to copper connection. Otherwise for, for this, I used the purple wire nuts that are meant for aluminum to copper connections. And being that it's you know a 48 volt low power system, you shouldn't really have any issue with it. And then the battery just slots into that connector on the actual down tube. And that is what sends the power to the controller. So then I can just, you know, slot this battery back on. I can take it off to charge and things like that. Slot it back on, plug it in, and then just lock it down with the key. So that's a quick overview of the Voilmart uh, DIY e-bike kit along with the battery that I purchased on eBay. Everything will be linked in the description below if you're looking to do a similar DIY build. But overall, a, a simple process, like I said earlier, that will definitely increase the fun of riding this bike. I can't wait to bring it down to the beach uh, or bring it down to some other spots, even like some cities, and just be able to have an easy mode of transportation to ride around while still being able to keep up uh, at pretty high speeds. This thing should be able to get to around 30, 35 miles an hour, which I've gotten it up to prior. So we will definitely do a performance test and I can show you guys how it rides, how it feels, the responsiveness of it. So let's go ahead and get into that.
But overall, a pretty solid kit that gives you everything you need in a single box for a reasonable price and allows you to sort of turn any existing mountain bike or bike into a DIY e-bike.